G'day everyone. I've got a scrap piece of aluminium in the lathe truck. I've put the profile in there for a drive belt for a steam engine accessory or a pulley off a steam engine. And um, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to try and stipple that. It's smooth and you get a lot of slippage when you put a green drive belt in. Just got a bit here. So you always have that easy slip there with the drive belt. What I've got is a saw blade from a Dremel that uh, this is a saw blade attachment of a Dremel that broke. It's got a it's got a bearing there. So what I'm going to try and do if I don't drop it, what I'm going to try and do is hold it with this pair of um, multi grips like such right on that bearing make sure that so that can spin the bearings holding that that's spinning and what I'm going to do I'm going to see when that's turning if I can put enough pressure with my hand on that to stipple it and go from left to right okay so that's what I'm going to try and do lays on pretty good. See that looks really good. Well it's almost not just that this is a heavy chart that's not slipping at all now. That's gripping so well. Okay. You can hear the dog barking as usual. Can never make a video without the dog barking but there you go. I'll take some close-up photos of another one I'm going to try in a minute. Okay, it's a bit hard doing that with you got the camera on a tripod. But uh, I'll turn the camera off in a minute and try and do a pulley that I want to use. Okay. G'day all. Back again. I just did this one without the pressure of having the tripod in front of me and uh, the camera on exactly the same method had the little uh, Dremel saw that was off a Dremel saw unit that broke the plastic outer shell of the uh, Dremel saw unit broke so I was left with the blade and I thought what can I do with that and as I showed you before I gripped that little bearing uh, in the set of multi grips that's, uh, that's worked really well I'm happy with that definitely got some bite into the green um, belting that we all use. And I hope the camera is picking this up when I'm seeing through the viewfinder. The uh, the Dremel saw, I don't know if it's hard and still or what, but it, uh, it doesn't feel in the slightest bit blunt from making this. So I reckon it's good for a stack of these. But uh, it'll be interesting to give that a go and just see how much grip that does give the um, the building under a load it's definitely not going to slip as much alright as always thanks for watching bye now